Hello guys, welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can clean your windows using CCleaner. CCleaner is a very good software to clean your PC from, from dual files, from uh, residual files, and all kind of files that you don't need to have on your PC, and maybe some files that can slow down your PC. So this cleaning process is very easy. I'm going to show you a uh, full tutorial on how to do it. But before we start, I have to say that the download link for CCleaner is in the description down below. You'll find there an article which will lead you to the download link. So let's begin with the presentation of CCleaner. If you don't know CCleaner, maybe you should watch the whole video. If you know CCleaner, maybe you could watch the video because CCleaner has updated a few times since maybe you've used it last time. So I recommend you use CCleaner maybe once a week to clean your PC. That way your PC is going to be faster uh, in doing some processes. And uh, firstly, you have some tabs in the left hand side. You have Cleaner, Registry, Tools, Options and Upgrade. Uh, we're gonna work with these four tabs. The cleaner tab is the most important and uh, we're going to use it the most. Uh, here we are going to be able to clean the PC from all the files that we don't need, such as internet cache, internet history, cookies, download history, last download location and stuff like that. So you have to go to the Windows tab in Cleaner and look for files that you wanna maybe uh, delete. You have to go to Applications and see what you wanna delete. I have to warn you that if you delete the internet history and internet cache on Chrome or Mozilla, maybe the browser that you're using, you're gonna lose all the saved passwords or the all the saved logins. So maybe if you clean your PC, you should uh, uncheck from the browsers. You know, you should uncheck all these settings from the browsers in order to not have problems maybe on sites that saved passwords and stuff like that. And then you have to go to analyze and see how much space CCleaner can clean up for you. And then you can click on run cleaner and CCleaner will clean the PC for you. That's very, very easy and very, very useful. The second tab is uh, registry. Uh, this tab will help you to fix the um, damaged registries. And as you can see, you're gonna find the missing shared DLLs, unused file extensions and stuff like that. You can click on scan for issues and it, and it will scan in a few seconds for all the issues that it can find. In my case, I uh, haven't done the scan for a while, I think, and it's gonna find a lot of files that need uh, some fixing. And after the scan is complete, you'll see that these are all the files that will need fix or be, maybe need to be deleted. Then you have to go to fix selected issues and then click on no, you don't want to make the backup because uh, it's not useful. The backup, uh, you won't need it, CCleaner won't damage your PC, everything is okay. You click on no and then fix all selected issues. You see that I had 128 files that needed a uh, fix or maybe needed to be deleted. Then we have the Tools tab here, we won't talk so much about it because uh, it has a lot of settings. You have the option to uninstall programs without leaving any files behind. You have the option to see the startup processes and maybe disable some. You have the option to see all the browser plugins. You can analyze the disk. Duplicate Finder, this is a very very cool thing. You should try to do this, you scroll down and go to search. Maybe you have to select all the drives and this finder will find for you all the duplicate files because in Windows um, there are a lot of duplicate files and those files just stack up there and uh, use a lot of space when it's not really necessary. You have the system restore, you can make a system restore and then, um, and then restore your system to that particular restore point. And you have the drive wiper, you can wipe some disks from your windows, but I don't recommend this option, I recommend the first one, cleaner is the most efficient. And uh, I'm gonna do it so you see, I'm gonna run the cleaner, then click on OK. So after the scan is complete, you see that in my case, 7 gigs of files were removed, and uh, now I have 7 more gigs of free space in my C drive, 
which is really really cool so in the last tab the options you have some uh, quick settings and uh, options that you can use I'm not gonna show you all of them you can search around and maybe see what you want to do but I don't recommend you to use them too much the default settings are the best for this software so guys this was our video about CCleaner don't forget to check out the article down below to download the file and use it to clean your PC um, don't forget to leave a like to this video if it was helpful and don't forget to check out our website windowsreport.com I was Emmanuel until next time have a nice day